you're welcome. It's Henry the Computer Guy. So actually today I wanted to take you through the process of creating an image from either a CD or DVD. Assuming that you have an operating system onto a DVD, but you really want to make it in form of an image and you store it onto your computer. Whatever you need it, you can as well use it without a CD or DVD. So I'm going to take you through the steps. They are very, very, very simple. So first of all, identify the software we're going to be using. We're going to be using a software called Alpha ISO and I already installed it there on my computer. So what you're going to do is uh, I'm going to insert our DVD or uh, our image that is having an operating system. For example, it is going to be Windows 8 and we see how we can create an image from it. So let me insert it in my computer as you're watching. Yeah, you give it a little time to load. You have to be a little bit patient and give it time to load. Yeah, finally it has loaded and we have it as DVD. RW. So we are having Windows 8 onto this DVD. So we want to make an image out of it. So first of all, I told you, you have to know the software you're going to, using, to be using. And we have what we call the Ultra ISO. I'll open it by double-clicking it. When I open it, it already reads the information which, are, which is on uh, the DVD that you have already inserted. So what we do, we'll come to what we call Make. DVD or CD image and I'll click onto this option whenever I click on it they're going to ask me where exactly do I want to save my image that I want to make and it's going to be an ISO format so first of all I'll create a folder where I want my image to be saved so I'm going to come to my desktop I'll right click I'll go to new then I'll go to folder then I'll name my folder let's say win 8 meaning that it is going to be Windows 8. It's where my image is going to be stored. Go from the DVD, then put it to my folder as an image. So I'll again come back to make CD or DVD. Then I'll click on it. Then I'll have to look for that folder that I've created, which is on the desktop. I'll click on it. Then I'll come and look for the desktop. Then I look for the folder called Win8 or Windows 8. So you can put any name of your choice. Click on it. Then you open it. You can also give your software an, a name, a file name. Let's say Windows, Windows 8. So this is the name that is going to be having as our image. Then I'll say save. So after that, I'll say or I'll click on what we call create. Remember, they are getting it from the CD or DVD which is already inserted and it is indicated here. So I'll click on make. So when you click on make, that Thing is going to show you a progress bar or box dialog box that is showing you really the progress that you're really making from uh, extracting those files from the DVD to the folder that you're having onto your desktop. Yeah, you have to give it some time and it really extracts all the files that you're having. You have to be a little bit patient. Yeah, we are having our progress as uh, now three because it has to reach up to 100 so that you can complete all the files and when it completes all the files it will be able to tell us that your extraction or your progress is complete and it is now 100 percent so after really making that image we can as well use our flash disk and make it bootable so that we can install an operating system using a flash which is bootable. I also created a video about installing an operating system onto your computer using a flash disk. For example, bootable flash disk. So you can as well look for that tutorial from my list of videos. You'll find it there. It shows you how you can really install or put an operating system onto a flash and make it bootable so it acts as a cd though it is a flash it is going to be acting as a, a cd but in form of bootable so we're giving it time and it's really going I have to give it some more time to load all the files it's now in 17 it has to reach up to 100 and uh if at all you're not having the software you're going to be using, for example, I've told you it's going to be, let me say I can create a name for you here, which is Ultra ISO. 
I can put my sticky notes there. So the name, I'll put the name for you there. The name is Ultra ISO and uh, you can go to the internet and download this software, it is free. So if you really don't know how to download software over the internet, I also created a video about that. You can go through my videos, you'll find a video which tells you or which shows you how you can install or how you can download and install a software from the internet. Yeah, we are having our progress there. It's really moving. It's now in 28. We have to wait for it up to 100. You have to be a little bit patient. You have to be a little bit patient. Yeah, I don't want to post the video. I don't want to post the video. I want you to be seeing the progress. And I will expect to give me questions in the comment section below. Don't hesitate to ask me any question if you want to. It's me, Henry, the computer guy, taking you through this. Yeah, give it more time. You give it some time. And the speed it takes, or it depends on the speed of your computer. We are finally in 38. We have to reach up to 100. Or I can as well pause the video, say that we can wait up to when it reaches 90, then we resume the video. Yeah, it's now reaching 95. It's reaching 95. I'll pause the video for some time, so that I don't make the video too long. I didn't want to make you keep waiting long. So I decided to... Ah, finally. It's saying that the DVD or CD image duplicate is okay and we say yes so let's go and check this is our image let's go and check in our folder whether the image has really been put there so we can right click and open and right click and open so it takes us to there and we already have our windows 8 as an image so i'm going to be creating another video on how we can make our flash disk upgradable using the image that we have created thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe. It's been Henry the Computer Guy. I sign out. Bye-bye.